Yo, what's up everyone? Welcome back. We got some coilovers to install in this video. I finished cleaning them up. They came out of that red card that I'm working on. The owner is nice enough to give me these for some payment off of his car. I started cleaning them up a little bit. Obviously these aren't cleaned up yet. And then another thing that I want to do is because you actually see some of the top hat of the coilover in the car in the engine bay, I'm actually going to brush these. And what I'm thinking is I would like to save the logo in this gold color. So I'm going to try and mask off the logo on each one and then brush them and then clear coat over them, get stuff assembled and installed on the car. And we'll go from there. Cool. All right, so I'm using some aluminum tape for it. I don't know, here's what this stuff is. I figure that'll be more resistant to sandpaper is having some aluminum type tape. So I'm gonna do this one now and then we'll start brushing and see how well that stuff holds up. Hopefully it should hold up fine. It's better than like, you know, normal masking tape that'll just get sanded away. All right, now the only thing I need to know is what direction or how I wanna brush it. Should it be circular, you know, go around it, or we use straight lines? I think we're going to go straight lines. All right, I realized I didn't really do too well on showing how I'm actually doing the brushing. I got a sanding block, 80 good sandpaper. I left a little bit of an edge on the block so it can ride nice against the straight edge. And then I just hold it against the edge and just keep following that back and forth. Cool. Okay, here's kind of what we're looking like before clear coat. I think it looks pretty good. I think that logo looks kind of cool. It's a little dirty, I gotta clean it up a little bit. But I think that'll look good. Here's the other one. Yeah. All right, we got the wheel off. Gotta start taking off the upper control arm. Get that bolt out, that'll come forward. Get the coil over out, put the new one in, be good. All right, that control arm's out of the way. Came out pretty easy. This isn't tight or anything. Like you can see how much it's moving. All good there, enough slack. Just gotta take the pen out, get the coil over out, and switch them. Cool. All right, I got it out. Unfortunately, just couldn't do it on film. It's too hard working by yourself. But yeah, I think, uh, I think I know which one I like more out of these two, you know? Definitely think I know which one I like more. Cool. All right, we'll get one of them in. All right, check it out. So I couldn't really film it by myself. I don't have these tight yet, but I got new nuts from the hardware store. I think that looks amazing in there. Oh, oh, let me, oh yeah. Needs a little cleanup, but yeah, that looks really, really, oh my goodness. Wow. Okay. Okay, so now what I need to do is attach the bottom. I have new hardware from Toyota for that. New hardware, new nuts, washers, you know, the old, old hardware. Yeah. So we're gonna open these up and get those on, get it assembled, do the other side.
All right, we are looking pretty good. Got the coil over in, got the bottom in with the new bolt and nut. That looks really good. I uh, took a measurement before I took uh, the coilovers apart and I measured this, the gap between them. Really good there. Hopefully that's about the same space that we need from the previous owner's usage. The top looks really good. Like really good. Woo, wow. Look at that. Look at that. Now look at this. <laughs> sweet. Very sweet. All right, this side went super fast. Super fast, huh? So, cool. It's looking good. I really like these brake lines from Good Ridge. Yeah, Good Ridge. They, uh, they're stainless steel, but they got a coating on them. So like, they're not gonna get, or they're gonna be easier to clean, if that makes sense. Really like those. Those are looking good in there. Oh, wow. Yeah, looks really good. Now we gotta throw the rears in. Be all set for this. All right, I'm getting ready to do the rears now. There is this little plastic trim that covers up the shock tower. Looks like that guy is going to be a little difficult to get at, but shouldn't be undoable. And uh, luckily, the arm has a nice bend in it, so we can just plop it off. Cool. All right, got the coilovers in. We're looking pretty good. The fit is super tight um, with a sway bar link. Don't know if that's how it's supposed to be, but we'll leave it like that for now. I have to shorten them up or something. Both sides are in. Kind of dark over here, can't see much. Yeah, got that in. Kind of bolt it in, put the wheels back on, see where we're sitting with just my temp wheels. You're good to go. All right, so we got the coilovers on. Looking at it now, obviously the front is high. These aren't the wheels that I'm gonna be using, so We'll get those switched out at some point and see where we're at, but there's no engine in the car, so it makes sense that the front would sit high. The back is obviously high, but like we said, or like I said, there is bigger wheels that will be going on, a lot nicer wheels. <sighs> yeah, cool. All right, guys, that'll do it for me for this video. Hit me with that like button. Comment down below what you think of it. I'm trying to do these shorter videos where it's just like a single project. Kind of give you a more consistent upload then instead of doing one big video that keeps having a ton of content in it hopefully you guys like it but yeah i'm super excited to have the engine bay now looking good with some sweet coilovers in it really appreciate the owner of the red car for letting me have those coilovers for a little bit of payment method on his end but yeah see you guys in the next one peace